YouTube was good. It's your boy, the American African. Today, I'm just going to be talking about my weight loss journey in general, but mainly, mainly covering weight regain because it's something that a lot of people don't think about. They get so caught up in the weight loss that they just enjoy it and they ride that high. And when they lose that weight, they, they tend to, um, me too, definitely me. They tend to say, let me chop life a little bit. Let me enjoy life a little bit with food. They gain weight back and then they quit or they, they can't believe it or it's embarrassing and then they quit. And um, I just want to maybe motivate, help, encourage people through showing my own weight regain and my consistency to keep fighting. So we're going to start with this year. We're not even going to take it all the way back yet. Let's just start with this year. This year, this is... um. January 23rd this year, about three months ago. Last year, I weighed 211 pounds. Let me show you that. Yeah, so as you can see, last year, um, April 20, 420, <laughs> I was 211.8 pounds. You know, about 212 pounds. That was the lowest my weight ever dropped so far. And I remember, I remember it. And I just said, wow, I'm actually going to reach 190. But it didn't go that way. Not mad at it. But that was the lowest weight I reached last year, okay? Yeah. 211 pounds. And you can see 10 days later, I actually gained 20 pounds. Nearly 20 pounds. But I was fighting, right? I was fighting. I came back down into the 220s. And I held it. I held it for a while. I held it for a while, you know, I held it for a while. I even came back into the teens again, just a, just a brief stint, you know, 217, 218, 219. I held it for a while. I don't remember what happened. I went all the way up to 240, okay? I came back down, 220s. So I just kept fighting, like, I kept fighting, and cardio was a big key for me. I'm going to show you with pictures, too. And then I exploded. I exploded. You know, I went on vacation. At the end of uh, July, I came back. I was like, I'm a water fast. The water fast I wasn't able to do because a lot of stuff was going on in life. But then I did water fast. And I got back down 250, all the way down to 230, you know, all the way down to 230. And I held it for a while. Then I went back on vacation gain weight back you know and uh i gained weight gain weight i just kept it in this range it got really bad but i just kept fighting i kept fighting and earlier this month april i hit 262 264 went back on vacation gained weight again which is where i'm at now and now i'm water fasting again you know i just keep fighting all right so remember you know this is uh Three months ago, January 23rd, 2022. And now we'll go back to last year. My peak, 211 pounds. Okay. Uh, what's a good picture? What's a good picture? You know? I wish I could say more, but man, wrong place. Night and day, right? This is your boy, America, Africa, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Night and day. That, compared to where I was three months ago, right? Gained a lot of weight. Gained a lot of weight, but I never let that, like, I never let that discourage me. It actually motivates me to go back and look at these pictures, you know what I mean? So, yeah, going back to it. Three months ago, this is where I was. Now, let me show you where I was before I went on vacation. April 2nd, April 1st, end of March. Yeah, so that's where I was in the March. Might not might not be seeable. I think it should be seeable, you know, from that to that. But I'm wearing that jacket, you know. But I had actually lost a lot of weight. Um, at least 20 to 30 pounds in those three months. No, maybe like 50 pounds, yeah. Because, see, I didn't weigh myself in the beginning of the year. I didn't, I didn't need to see that. But I was definitely over 300, you know. I, somewhere between 300 and 330. 
um, in this picture right here, you know, somewhere between 300, 330. And then in this picture here, this is like um, 260. Yeah, 260 actually. This is 265-ish. Yeah, so it's a big difference. But yeah, I I just I just keep grinding, you know. I've gained. I've actually went through weight regain, at least big weight regain, at least four times in the past three years. All right, these might be some better pictures. Still got like a jacket on though. But okay, there you go. So you see that? Side by side would help, wouldn't it? Well, you get the picture. <laughs> yeah, you get the picture, you get the picture. Yeah, this, this is April this year. January this year. I exploded, man. I was actually embarrassed. That's why I was always wearing a jacket and stuff like that. Because coming from 211 to this, whew, it was tough, man. That's like 100 pound regain. You know, in the course of what? Less than a year. So it's tough, you know? It's tough. But I knew what I was doing when I was doing it. I saw it all as it was happening. I just could not put down the sugary foods. I was addicted. You know, I was addicted. And every day I would say, okay, I'm going to start again. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing. Water fast start tomorrow. This, this, and that. But ultimately, this all brings me to a conclusion I've came up with, okay, about weight loss. You have to find out what works for you in terms of, um, you know, do you want an extreme approach to weight management or do you want to still be able to enjoy foods you like? Now, the conclusion I'm coming to is like sicko, right? If you want to still enjoy foods you like, you have to deploy sicko. You have to deploy sicko. Sicko is calories in, calories out. That means you have to count your calories, count your macros, but it mostly comes down to counting calories and ensure that you don't go over certain numbers depending on your activity levels. That way, you don't allow yourself to overindulge. And... The reason this is, is because obesity is a disease, okay? Diseases that can be cured have to be managed. So you have to manage it. So if you decide, you know what, I still want to eat foods I like, even occasionally, you have to deploy sicko, fasting, intermittent fasting at least, you know, strict intermittent fasting, like 20-hour window of fasting, or OMAD on those days or on those vacations or whatever. Or you have to be prepared to say that when I come back, I'm going to do this because I already know I'm going to go out of control. But slowly but surely, we want to stop getting out of control, obviously, right? If I don't stop going out of control, obesity continues to run my life. <laughs> so secondly, extremism. Extremism is pretty much like, okay, I'm a food addict. No more sugar for life. You know, no more fried foods for life. You know, it's like taking on that approach. Taking on that approach works, but you have to decide, okay, I'm going to be abstinent forever. Like, I decided I'm going to be abstinent from a few things forever, such as alcohol, such as smoking, right? But when it comes to food, everything that I ruled out at one point, I have tried again. So I can't lie and say, oh, I'm abstinent from pizza or I'm abstinent from ice cream. It's just that when I have them, I binge them. But then when I put them down, I put them down, you know. That approach to me doesn't work, you know. So what I've come down to is that either I'm going to be abstinent for life from certain things such as sugar or I'm going to deploy sicko for life, Right. And, you know, there are always going to be times where we get out of control a bit. But on those days, intermittent fasting, alternate day fasting, right? OMAD, deploying some sort of fasting, you know? I'm not mentioning water fasting because water fasting is another extreme that sometimes leads to binge eating and stuff like that. But, you know, I kind of use water fasting to fix the regains. That's what I use water fasting for. That's what I came down to. 
I use water fasting to fix the regains. If I don't regain weight, I don't need to water fast. I don't water fast for, uh, I do water fast for fun, but I only water fast for fun because it's fun to me to use it to lose weight. It's kind of cool to me, you know? Okay, I found them hidden files. This is January this year. You see how big I got? This is just January this year, you know? This is this is probably my worst weight regain. I really don't. Well, I, I know what the cause of it was, you know. No excuses in this life, though. But you know, I just I just honestly I let a relationship get the best of me, you know. Trying to make it more than what it was, you know. But at the end of the day, you got to work through that stress management. You know, you can't let this sort of thing happen. Coming from two eleven to this, it was hard, especially when in my body or in my mind. I'm still, you know, 220. I can run and all this stuff. But honestly, I couldn't. You know, <laughs> I couldn't. So then you can see by April, I was out. You know, I got that bad relationship. End of January, middle of January, end of January, something like that. I got back on my shit, on my grind. And, you know, the weight loss was back, you know. I was back. Got my mojo back. I was okay again. I was a happy camper, smiling in all my pictures, you know. I was proud of myself again. I was good. And we still going. We still going. The moral of the story is, when you're on your weight loss ground, you got to put yourself first, yo. You can't let anyone have your time over you. You got to take care of yourself first. That's the only way you can take care of other people, you know. When I, when I weighed 330 again or whatever I was... I wasn't smiling in my pictures. I didn't even want to take pictures. I forced myself. I forced myself to look at it. When I looked in the mirror, I, it, I didn't really see it. I didn't really see it. I had to take pictures, you know. I had to take those pictures, those difficult pictures. I had to face that reality because I, was, I wasn't I was going to get on the scale. I didn't want to see that. 